What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nisa Ita, back with another video. <laughs> okay, guys, so sorry it's been, like, forever, but <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> New and approved. Back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm hungry. Been a long day. Always a long day. Always a rough day, but I'm back. <laughs> Okay, so um today um I got Chipotle because I just absolutely love Chipotle. Like <laughs> yeah, I love it. So today I got a steak my chips right there. I got a steak burrito with um a brown rice. A steak burrito I always get it the same way every time. It's double steak um, extra brown, extra brown rice, um, pinto beans, um, extra sour cream, light salsa, mm, cheese, lettuce, and that's about it. Now, they're known for their guacamole at Chipotle, but I'm a, I don't really like it in my burrito, so I always get it on the side. With a bag of chips, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of it. I'm to follow all day because this food bus is really in my body. I'm just really nice. Just like you said, I'm thinking about it. Perhaps it's a British name, Lord, I know. Okay, so, oh, and on the side, because you know these can be kind of salty like that. Oh, let's see, so. Oh, the camera's over here now. It won't focus. Anyway, they put a lot of sea salt. Sometimes it gets just a lot too much. So we're here have some <clears throat> some black cherry Kool-Aid. Delicious. I don't care what you think about Kool-Aid. It's the bomb. Okay. It's good in time like now. Okay. Get it ugly right there. And bite on this side. <laughs> Make a little bit better. There you go. <laughs> Looking for that focus. <clears throat> so, what's new? What have you guys been up to? How are you guys? Coping with what is going on right now, like just everything with the whole coronavirus going around and all that. I know how you guys, how do you feel about it? Like, <sighs> that's all I gotta say about this. <sighs> no, I got a lot to say about it. It's just. Let me eat first. <laughs> Get some food in there. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. <laughs> so, man, <laughs> it's so big, I don't know how to go at it. <laughs> and then, with Chipotle, they're. <clears throat> 
they don't mix all their stuff together. So, like, you like, you want rice and beans on one side, and you want meat and toppings on the other. <laughs> like, no, I want all of it all together. <laughs> Okay, now, if you, if you're new to my channel, these are whatever, but if you are already a subscribed member of my channel and seen my previous videos, you would know that these are new. <laughs> I got them done like about two to three weeks ago. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I got them done. I got these done with, along with some, some new ink that I got. Let me see that one. There you go. But anyways, <laughs> I got those done and then I got these done. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Sorry about that. And, um. It was a matter of throwing like back to back to back. This one I got a week, let it heal for like three days, and then I got the next one on this one. And as soon as I did this one, I did the next one the same night that I got that done. So <laughs> well, I did half of it one night, and then I waited like a, two days, and then we finished the rest of it. I mean, we did the other one after that. So it was a lot of. It was a lot of um, pain. <laughs> it was a lot of pain, but well worth it. You know, I've always wanted tattoos and I got the opportunity and I just went all out, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, so those are my new, those are new. <laughs> Let me mess this around a little bit. I put some, uh, some salsa in there. Oh, I put some abato in there. Now, if you're really native or Mexican, you know what abato is. <laughs> well, not too really Mexican because I did them this like tomato juice. Tomato sauce or whatever. But to us, it's like hot sauce. <laughs> to natives, it's hot sauce. But yeah. 
Tell me what I have to do a too long video because the babies are sleeping right now. <laughs> They're asleep and um taking their nap. So far one got up, but yeah. <laughs> Trying to get it done before they get up, so it won't be so chaotic. Because once they they get up and they know that I'm here, they'll start banging at the door, start, you know, crying. <laughs> Mom life. I can't do nothing. <laughs> About that, got a bailey for them. Man, yeah, bailey, and they cook it with the, the rice. So, at first, when I first got it, I was like, There's a, there's a, there's a leaf in my, in my burrito. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> my brother, he likes to cook a lot, he's one of the. He's one of the main cooks in our family. So, you know, he's like, that's <laughs> that's a seasoning, Demi. <laughs> yeah, me and my, <clears throat> my family. Um... With everything that's going on and the shortage of everything that's pretty much out of stock all around the United States right now. Um, we had to go out and um, get the, the stuff that we needed. Because me personally, me, my family, my husband, my mother, we don't, we're not too much scared of the virus itself because it's most... We're not likely to get it. My mother is still way too young to be in that range of um, getting it. And, um, yeah, I don't know how, I don't know if I'm getting my information right, but anyways, the point is we're not too worried about it, the virus itself. It's the people that we're scared of. No offense to anybody. <laughs> but, you know, everybody's panicking and, you know, it's, you know, everybody can react to the situation the way they want to. And, um, you know, you do you. I got my way of thinking of it. You got your way of thinking of it, you know. Um, but in the result of that, everything's going out of stock, like food. Pampers, wipes, milk, everything. So I I finally told my husband, I was like, you know, this thing's getting way too crazy right now. Like we need to go out and get diapers because you know, if I have to, I will use what I have. But you know why should I when they're supposed to be using diapers? <laughs> So anyways, we went out and actually stepped out to the madness and just the thought of it was like really scary. It's like, what if this lasts as longer than two weeks? What if this lasts as longer than supply in a man has? You know, and then, then what? How are we going to feed our kids? I mean, we have a different solution. You know, we have a solution to that, you know. My husband has no problem going out getting a freaking cow or whatever, you know. But what about the people that don't know how to do that? Like, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It just it just really hit me with reality, you know. I don't know. I'm not judging. I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm just saying everybody has a different reaction. You know, mine is what I just explained.
I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy that um my sister's here. She came down from um um Holbrook, Arizona. She goes to school out there. She's in a boarding school out there. So that's one thing about the good wellness virus. That's good. <laughs> my my sister got to go home along with my nephew. They're both home now, so we know that they're safe and not far. It's just different when we have close family members that are happen to be far away from you right now at the moment of all this chaos. But yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah. So she's home, which is very good because she's letting like it. She's my first sister and I really love her a lot. I just really missed her. You never appreciate anybody until you hardly appreciate anybody until you know they're no longer with you or around you, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I really missed her. <laughs> but my other sister, she's she's crazy. I love her just as much. <laughs> she's a very beautiful girl. Very beautiful. Like sports and stuff. Okay, guys, so now I'm really gonna have to hurry this up because my baby, the baby baby is awake. So, <laughs> and he is literally, when he's awake, he's literally touched the hip. <laughs> That's my son. Okay, guys, I gotta go. My babies are up, acting well, <laughs> just because they're a little under the weather, you know. They're not feeling too good. No, it's not Corona, <laughs> but they're just, you know, not feeling good today. So, um, oh, excuse me. Sorry if it's such a short video, but I will be back. Okay, <laughs> possibly with a seafood oil. Not too sure yet. <laughs> See how things going with this whole damn quarantine thing and stuff like that. So hopefully when we will be able to make it to the store and get me some snow crab before we have to be on lockdown. <laughs> I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I'm full. <laughs> but um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, you know. Um thank you so much for all my subscribers and all your love all your support you know you guys are really keeping me going because you know like now that i have subscribers i feel obligated to do this and which that's a good thing because i you know i need this outlet i need this toy type of outlet where i can come and just be me for a little bit you know without the stress of everything going on <laughs> but anyways um <laughs> reality hits back quick <laughs> So like I said, I have to go, but um, uh, follow me on Instagram. Um, I have my own Instagram. I have my you now. And if I get enough followers, comments, or subscribers, you know, I'll start doing live videos on you now. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's a, it's a, basically another form of YouTube. I don't know. I don't really look it up in it. But anyways, um. I do live lives on my Instagram, but um, I don't really have an audience there, so 
if you want to see me do videos on my live videos on my Instagram, let me know. And um, subscribe to my own. Follow me on Instagram so that you can know when I'm doing a live. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye.